Alrighty, folks, welcome on back to XCOM Enemy Within. So, last time, we uh, shot a UFO out of the air, and now we're here trying to get into it, and they were talking, so I paused it. Energy field protecting parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening. So, I remember, and if I remember correctly, yeah, there's a guy back here. So, we need to get through here. But I think we can just walk through the walls. Looks like the crash site is dead ahead. So we should expect heavy resistance here. There's no telling how many hostiles were on board. Approach the craft with caution and attempt a breach if possible. Sniper. Oh yeah, that's right. We lost a guy, didn't we? Yep. Well, darn. Um, what's your percentage? Forty-five. Are you in Overwatch? Is there any way that I can check that? I don't know. Target information. Haha. -ha. So low cover. Okay, okay. So if I He has currently has full cover though, doesn't he? No, he's only got half cover. Okay. So if I move him into better half cover. Oh, I was right. He had... Oh, good, he missed. He had Overwatch on. I couldn't remember. It's been like three days since I last played. Um, does that give you a... No, it's still 45. Well, we got him. So. Alright, let's see here. What do we got? If I dash all the way to here... Because he's my heavy. What? 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 Ooh. Hey, there's the melt. At such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. The readings coming from that creature are like nothing I've ever seen. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Yep. And study it when it's dead, Doctor. Let's take that thing down. All right. So he got a kill, so I'm not going to worry too much about him. He did not go into Overwatch. Hey, he just now. moved. I also know that I can't fire. I might have him go for the meld, actually. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's see if I can do that. Can I do that? Can you still move? I don't think so. No, it's just you. Which I need you to just hunker down. I need you to just stop. Um, okay, you're the last one. So backspace. So, also. Um, welcome from my new apartment. I have changed how my setup works. I, uh... Oh, he's in full cover, isn't he? Alright, let's see here. Let's pull you back here. And then... I can't use that, but I can use a frag. Grenade out. We got him. Incredible. We got him. Seems to have vanished. Oh, hey, cool. So, that means that if we accomplish the mission, we automatically get the meld, right? That's the way it works? That's the way the crook cookie crumbles? The crookie. <laughs> oh, man. We're crookie. So, anyway. Um, hi from my new apartment. I am sorry for any sounds that you guys might hear today. Uh... I'm still trying to get used to when people are moving around and when they're not moving around. So what do we want? Bullet swarm or halo targeting? Halo targeting. Shoot at or suppress enemy. Also confers 10 aim to allies attacks. Bullet swarm. Standard shots with the primary weapon no longer end the turn if taken as the first action. What? So, I could sh oh, I could shoot and then move. Shooting at or suppressing enemies also confers 10 aim. I think I'm going to go with Bullet Swarm. Because you can shoot and then move. And that just seems amazing. So what are you? 
You are a heavy. Welcome to this squad. So, I'm sorry I lost a guy. I knew it was going to happen. Beam weapons, nav computer, power source, more sectoid courses, corpses. Illyrium. What is Illyrium? Alloys, fragments, meld, flight computer, power source. Wow. Welcome back, Commander. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander. Cool, so I can now build satellites. That's awesome. XCON database provides a running archive of information, okay? Next event, the arc thrower is in one day. Can't I? No, I didn't want to. Really? Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Sorry. I didn't mean to. I was trying to blow up the wall, actually. Can't I zoom out more? Isn't there a way to move around? Well, I know there's this. All right, let's go to engineering. Aha. Still got some room to One day up. remaining. But okay. If we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, Wait. the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. I still can't believe Dr. Vaughn expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece, much less alive. So I don't have enough to build. Oh, I don't have enough power to do anything right now. Wow. Yeah, I don't have enough power to do anything. I have no credits. That's what it was. I have no credits. All right. So those are both in progress. I need to put some interceptors in the U.S. Sorry, I'm not talking into the mic. Um, my monitor is actually like highly above where my mic is. So I've been sitting off to the side, not talking into the microphone like I'm supposed to be. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it was quieter than it was supposed to be. Um, I want a hangar. Ooh, hey, this is where I can do ships. Ha ha. North American order interceptors. I want two. Except I have no money. <laughs> I need money. All right. So we have no pending requests. All right. So let's go back. Let's go up here. Here we go. I can scan for just a day, right? Ha ha. See? All right. So the arc thrower is done. Non-lethal sidearm. Okay. So what else can we do? We have... Armor, meld recombination. What's this? Um, no idea. Experimental warfare. Uh, although the understanding of alien technology is still limited, what we've seen so far is enough to revolutionize combat as we know it. If we're able to play the field. We must adapt alien technology for our own use. I could also do beam weapons. The idea of portable laser weaponry. Our early prototypes have been encouraging, but we continue to struggle with rela issues related to heat dissipation. This costs alloy and weapons. Should I do another... Uh, the element known as a larium housed within this compact device is somehow responsible for generating the enormous amounts of power consumed by the investable. Use this technology to increase the capabilities not just of our fighter craft but of our mechs. Um, I'm thinking we do another autopsy. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. All the goo. That was awesome. 
All right, so I need to go to engineering because we need to... Ah, uh, it still has a day remaining. All right, so... Build or buy items. I need an arc thrower. Ah, oh, it's going to cost 25. Frag. Can I just, like, skip to... Oh, mission control's on the bottom. Haha. -ha. Facility online. Awesome. All right. So, up and running. Yep, we got up and running. Also, I'm currently offline on Steam um, because I don't have internet. I won't have internet until I actually get back from Christmas. But uh, I have a way to upload this for you guys, so we're going to do it that way. Uh, complete. So, let's give it a new research project. Uplink targeting aim available for manufacture okay activate this module during interception to provide an immediate temporary boost to your unit's accuracy Ooh. module will burn out after one use this technology is based on sectoid implants and allows us to send a data pulse through our satellite network cool that is cool all right i'm going to do the power source because we need power seem to be the most pressing of our current research options we'll begin immediately I will notify you when a complete report is available. Well, at least I'm making money slowly. So, next event, council report in 12 days. Can I... Like... No. Whoops. I don't have any. They need three 20 days left. Okay. So not now. Do I have any money now? No. <laughs> Four, five. Haha. -ha. Commander. There we, we go. Picked up multiple requests for assistance. Ooh. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right. So new recruit, a sniper. This one's easy. We'd get scientists. This one's moderate. We'd get engineers. We need the engineers. But that's going to annoy Japan just a little bit. I think that'll be all right. Let's go get some engineers. All right. So. Um, I'm going to bring Jenkins. I'm going to bring one more. Hmm. Nah, let's take an assault. So, can I... What do you have? Scope, grenades, yeah, okay, never mind. Never mind, we're good. Uh, yep, that's good, let's go. Dang, that cutscene is so loud. The rest of the game is fine, and that... The cutscene of the those VTOL engines is just like... Bah. Yeah, it's very annoying. All right, we're beginning the assault. So we're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Thank you, Central. Uh, Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Anything else? Okay. Alien abduction in progress. Meld energy signature readings are positive. Site is clear of civilians. Collateral damage is not a concern. Neutralize all hostile. Locate and secure meld. We can do that. It's a construction site. I gotta remember to save. I gotta remember to save. Strike one. This is so. Since I was reminding myself to save, we're gonna save real quick. There we go. Central, you are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Hmm. You're my sniper, right? No, you're a heavy. Heavy goes here. I'm on the move. We'll leave you there for now. Can I bring the sniper up on the roof? I can. All right, let's Roger, put you Roger. there. Yes, I am aware that that was a sprint. It was meant to be a sprint. Okay. So, 
You need to kind of hang back, but you... Uh, let's Running. go see what's over here. Alien object inside. Aha! Found a meld canister. All right. And Orders I think we'll put you the there. Move. So, alien gonna do anything? Nope. Can I get to the meld this turn? I can. Okay, give me my camera controls back. Oh, I had to sprint to get to it, so. All right. What do we have for you? Let's pull up here. Well, there's the other meld canister. So, I think we'll send you up after it, or at least start you after it. All right. Those are half. That's full cover. That's also full cover. That doesn't really provide anything. That's full cover. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where they'd most likely be. All right, I'll put ass. you there. Found them. ET in sight. Engaging. We have found them. Do you have... No, you just have smoke grenades. Okay, stabilize, overwatch. Um, I want to get him back on the roof. All right, we're going to do that first then. Get him back on the roof. Running. Behind cover. I should have just left him up there. But that's okay. All right. So you... I'm actually going to have you move. Over Moving here. Out. I'm going to try to ha run her around and grab that meld. All while firing. So, let's see if you've got a rocket. If I move move. Here, let's shoot at him. Yeah. I'm about to start keeping score. Right? About to start keeping score. Sounds like a great idea. I mean, we've got four. Well, they've got three, and we've got four. ET's to crawl up my flank. Oh. Ouch. Miss. Phew. That was too... Oh, man. Seriously? Enemy all right. All right. We can do this. We can do this. Need to find some um, where is our medic? Way over here, huh? All right. Got it. Moving. Can't I just use? Yeah. No. Okay. All right. All right. Whoa! 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 Wait. Can I get both of them in the same explosion? Is that possible? It is, just barely. Eat this. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. Yes, I know. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. All right, so he apparently doesn't have any targets, so I'm going to bring him over here. 
I should have just left him on the ground and taken a shot. All right. I am going to... Wait, can you... It's a 58% chance to shoot him. All right. Dang it. Dang. We have three turns to get that meld, too. Oh. Oh, I can see you guys. I can see you. Cover my flank. That was close. That was not close. <laughs> that was not even close to being close. All right. Heal his wounds, please. Easy Give me his armor there. back. Ah, oh, so much better. All right. You have a 48% chance to shoot him? <laughs> what? How about you? Who can you shoot? 65% chance to shoot him. Seriously? <laughs> okay. I'll take that chance. There we go. <laughs> what do we got? 58? Taking it again. There we go. There we go. All right. Bring him over here. We're doing better. We're doing better. I am definitely learning. Ow. That kind of hurt. You have a 48% chance to shoot him. Hmm. We have one turn to... Oh. Can you make it down there? No, you have to sprint. Huh. You have a 10% chance yet now. Nah, nah, nah. How about you? Nope. Okay. Take your 48% chance. I was worried about that. Yep. I was worried about that. Okay. Now... Moving to position. Move you there. Put you on Overwatch. Oh, I can still move you? I forgot about that. <laughs> and you. Um put you on Overwatch. Come on, move. Oh, don't go. Well, I guess that works. Oh man, we lost it, but I'm here. But he had to sprint to get there. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, let's put him there. Dang it. Shoo. How many times do they get to shoot in Overwatch? You now get a, nope, nope, nope. How about that? How about we put you in Overwatch? And we'll move you to here. Put you in again. Move you to here. And we'll shoot at him. There we go. Dang. We only got one of the canisters, but that's okay. Alright, so... I believe that is going to do it for this episode, folks. I'm actually ending back here at base, which is different, so to speak. Hopefully now we have a little bit of money. Hopefully. Or a lot of bit of money. Because I need some money. <laughs> Alright, so... Who, who is he? Oh, our sniper. Nice. We promoted our sniper. Snapshot. So, on firing an overwatch, but any shots take a nine, minus 10. Hmm. Allows firing at targets in an ally's sight radius, but these targets cannot be critically hit unless using headshot. Which is this one. I like this. I like that one. Because literally I set my snipers up in strategic positions. And then expect them to be able to fire anywhere on the map. Each workshop adds five engineers to our staff. Reduces. Or gives us a refund on resources. Okay. 
Panic increased in Africa and we Asia. Yeah. Touch, Commander. Oh crap. Um. Oh, that's not good. We have to get Asia down like now. So, but as I was saying, um, this is gonna be the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying this. I'm loving it now that I've figured out how to not crash every five seconds. That was so annoying. Um, but yeah, so uh, let me know if you guys have any feedback in the comment section down below. We'll catch you folks in the next episode and stay frosty.